Hey guys, what's up? It's Depromito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in FL Studio and I'm going to be doing, I guess, like a stock plugin challenge. It won't be that hard because FL Studio has some pretty good stock plugins at this point. But I've got this uh, Flex VST loaded up. I'm in the key of E minor and I'm just going to start laying out a melody. And a lot of times when I'm working with guitars, I like to do sort of like this. So I'll lay out the bass notes, then I will just copy them, bring them up an octave, and then just start clicking in random eighth notes, um, and then put halftime on it, and it usually sounds good. So I'm going to start with that. going to copy this pattern over. I'm going to bring it into the other two and then I will fix it and make sure that it's in key. Okay, uh, and then I'm just going to put it in the mixer rack. I'm going to grab gross beat and come over here to momentary, go to half speed. There we go. We have already super easy, a nice dark melody. I might change this sound out though. I'm going to go with this jazz guitar. Sounds good. Um, next, I'm going to find another VST. I'm going to go probably with, uh, I guess I'll just go with Flex again. I'm going to find a pad uh, to layer over this, and then I might find a bell. Uh, so I'm going to go to All, come up here to the pad. And I'm just going to click through these. This one, I'm going to lay this on it, and then I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna just take all of this out, um, and then I'm gonna make chords. I'm gonna take all that out and just. shorten all of this because the tail on this sound is insanely long um, so I'm just gonna have it like that and it's already clipping a little bit because flex everything out of here sounds super loud all the time I'm just gonna turn this reverb off turn this delay off release down and then I can come in here press control a and we can make this a little longer then I just brought it down an octave to make it a little bit more atmospheric and less harsh because the, uh, that high frequency that was there was uh, really very harsh, so we don't want that. Uh, and then I'm going to get a bell sound out of something, uh, and I guess I'll just go with Flex again. Flex is kind of like the Omnisphere of FL Studio. So, uh, so we're going to come here, go to All, and go to Tags, Bell. Let's see what's here. I'm going to 
press control L and that legato's it. So it just stretches each note to the next one. This is good. It's getting nice and dark. I'm going to put these into the mixer rack. I'm going to get a little bit of effects going. So on this, I think I want to put... Uh, we'll start with an EQ. I'm going to cut the highs a little bit. That's good. And um, most of the time when I use uh, other effects, uh, they aren't stock plugins. I use the stock reverb and the stock EQ a lot, um, but for the most part, even though I use a lot of free effects and stuff, most of them aren't stock, so this is kind of difficult. Because there's a lot of stuff that I would usually do that I can't do. Uh, like, I would probably want to put fresh air on this, maybe Camel Crusher, and give it a little distortion. Maybe even Chow Matrix, get it, give it some delay. But um, I'm going to start with this. For this, I'm just going to EQ out that harsh high frequency right there. Sounds good. And then with this, I guess I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, next, we're going to get some drums going. Uh, given that there's not any good stock drums, I'm going to just be using free kits. Um, this will work. I'm just going to do a two step hi hat. Get an open hat. Here, I'm gonna go to the mixer. I'm gonna turn these all the way down. I've been using the Starburst 808 a lot out of uh, Kyle Beats and Dramatic Kit, which is free kit, which is cool. Uh, only problem is you gotta go and tune it to E, but otherwise, that's no big deal. Sounds really good. Uh, I'm going to come here back to flex. I'm going to copy down these root notes. Control C. And then I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm just going to bring it up two octaves so I can hear it. I'm going to chop it up. So I'm going to go with Control C. Or not Control C, just regular C. Beats Legacy Kit. I'm gonna get my favorite kick, which is this uh, balance kick. It sounds really hard. Uh, we're gonna go with this and take that out. Or I think I already put that there. Uh, and I'm just gonna get this 808, put it there. Alt K. I'm just gonna put it all on C5. And I'm just gonna shorten it so that it's easier to look at. Uh, and then that's probably all I'm really going to add to this. I'm going to come and I'm going to put everything in the mixer rack. I'm going to start by putting, I guess, okay, so I'm going to do fruity, fruity Blood Overdrive. Usually I would do probably Saturation Knob, uh, but obviously I'm doing stock plugins. So I'm going to go with fruity, fruity Blood Overdrive. 
Just add a little bit of there. That sounds good. Sounds good. That sounds good. All right, so I'm going to just start mixing. So I'm going to start with this kick. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Bring it to negative 15 dB. Right there. Cut the lows a little bit. Give the 808 a little bit more room. That sounds good. We're going to start laying this out. And um, I'm probably going to send this beat to Gunboy Kaz. I've been working with him. And uh, I'm sending him a bunch of beats later today, so I'll probably send this to him. It's a little bit dark for him, but it'll, I guess he could probably work on it. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to render this out. We're going to do render and replace so that the half speed isn't getting messed up each time. And then I'm going to cut it right there so it doesn't bleed over. Oh, that's not it. Like that. Basic arrangement like that. Mm, next, I'm going to do some cuts. Um, probably do. I'm going to leave the chorus the same. Uh, we'll do a cut in the hat right there, and we'll take the last clap out. That makes that drop nice and hard. Um, we'll probably do the same right here. Keep it simple. a symbol I think let's see I'm gonna go to this portal kit and it usually has some good symbols I'm gonna go with this uh, sorry about that my phone just buzzed um, but that's all right we're gonna bring this just drop it in at each hook like so and then I'll just mix it in um, some reverb on it so that we can turn that tail up a little bit uh, because it is very short and I don't want that so we're gonna go fruity reverb 2 turn that decay up yeah it sounds better and then the 
final thing, we just got to put my tag in. Ba, ba, ba. So I'm going to put it right there. Um, here's a little tip for when you're putting your tag in. You want to bring it here, go to auto, and then with the time knob, just put it. I usually do like two bars, so it's playing for two bars before, and then it just stretches it perfectly. Like that. Cool. All right, that's the beat. So thank you all for watching, um, and let me know if you have any comments. Just leave it in the comments, obviously. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.